11, resolution number 39-14, authorizing approval of settlement of manor of Leonard Corrigan, James Giles, Robert Byrd, of the City of West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, Mayor, I'd like Commissioner to Mitchell? A, yes. I'd like to make a couple of comments and observations. Um, this is an item where, you know, we had some former employees who are now former employees um, that went through uh, a difficult time. Um, and lost their jobs. And I'm glad to see that we have come to a resolution. Um, I think it could have been a lot more costly for the city. Um, and I just want to, you know, I want to say thank you for bringing this forward. Um, but I also would like to um, better understand what we're doing in human resources and specifically in the department as far as morale. Now, I understand, and as we had the discussion earlier about um, what the role of the city commission is versus uh, the mayor on hiring and, and how employees are treated, um, this is one that I, that I think should and does rest also in comment. I'm not directing you to do anything. I'm not suggesting, but um, no, I am suggesting that that we do You're a better job. An opinion. I'm, I'm suggesting I have an opinion. <laughs> okay, that we do a better job of of training um, the people who are sitting in management. We have a lot of really good employees in the city, and one or two bad apples can have a devastating effect on so many people's lives. And it did, my opinion, my opinion in this instance. Um, we had three employees that we are um, coming to a resolution with from a lawsuit or a potential lawsuit. And we have one, Lenny Corrigan, who took it upon himself to kind of fight City Hall. And um, lots of people would never do that. You know, that's, uh, I'll never win. They'll never listen to me. Um, but he did, because he he is a, in my opinion, righteous a righteous man. He was fighting the righteous fight on behalf of other people who could not or or, or didn't want to stand up in front of us um, to call out something they thought was wrong. And he did not just for himself but for others because in in item number 11 this is not just a settlement for Lenny Corrigan this is a settlement for three people three former employees so I, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you Mr. Corrigan uh, for fighting City Hall because um, sometimes we don't get things right um, and, and that's it Thank you. We do have two cards um, on this item, um, and, and um, Sandy Makovich, if you'll come forward, and William McRae, if you'll come forward. Go ahead, Ms. Makovich. Sandy Makovich, West Palm Beach. Kind words for Mr. Corrigan. He deserves them. He, he needs the praise. He did fight City Hall, and he won. What were the payouts on the lawsuits, on the settlements? What were the payouts? Go ahead and finish your Excuse comments. Excuse me? Go ahead and finish your comments. I'm I'll asking ask. about the payoffs. Well, answer your questions when you're done. Finish your comments. Okay. Since Mr. Ladd's lawsuit, which he won, $880,000, the city is fighting that settlement. This city has it's cost the taxpayers over $1,400,000 in a matter within a year. My question is, other cities are smart enough, they're competent enough to have insurance for these types of things. Why does the city insist on self-insurance when it's costing the taxpayers this kind of money? Because you're not winning the lawsuit, so you must be, you're doing something wrong. Please do something right. Get insurance for this. Thank you. Um, Ms. McKenna, do you want to um, also talk about the cap that we have as well as what? Sure. Um, the, the amounts are in the agenda item in the resolution. They are 75 for Mr. Corrigan, 75 for Mr. Giles, and 25 for Mr. Bird, who is a current employee um, and who was not terminated. Thousand. And, and also, yes. we, we, also we have... You're going to talk about the cap on right. Um, in in connection with a number of lawsuits that come against the city from time to time, there is a Florida statute that 
caps the liability of municipalities at a certain level. And for most of the lawsuits that have been settled recently, that level was the level that was in effect at the time of the lawsuit being filed, which is $100,000 and $200,000 if there are multiple plaintiffs. And the statute was recently raised so that the cap is $200,000. We have insurance. We have insurance. We carry insurance above a certain level. And generally speaking, we don't get into obligations to pay that reach our insurance level. Sometimes when the claim is such that we need to get into those levels, the insurance company comes in and they will engage in settlement. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. McRae. William McRae. Lenny Corgan was right. Thank you, Kimberly Mitchell, for giving him accolades for standing up for justice. It's unfortunate that in the year 2013, even though this happened a few years back, when someone complains about the N-word instead of fixing the problem, the city retaliates and terminates that person. Now, I don't know if it makes a difference whether you're black or white up here, because sometimes I can't tell the difference. But it's a shame. And it's more than a few rotten apples, Kimberly Mitchell. There's a rotten apple right there in the legal department who should have settled this a long time ago. Ed Mitchell and Dorrit Miller presided over a lot of racism and discrimination when people would come in complaining. It's unfortunate that the rotten apples are at the top, and they allow this sort of racism and discrimination to permeate down through the city. And unfortunately, usually most of the time the victims are black, unfortunately. And in this case, it was Mr. Corrigan who happens to be white. And, yes, it could have cost the city a lot more money, and, yes, it should have cost the city a lot more. And, yes, in my opinion, he should have been compensated a lot more money. It's, you know, I commend him for taking what he took. I wouldn't have, because after what he went through, the pain and suffering that his family went through, that Mr. Giles went through, that the other gentleman went through, you can't put a price on that. And unless there's a – unless it affects you because you're a woman or because you're gay or because you're black or because of some other reason, you guys just don't care. And if you do, you don't do anything to stop it. You allow this to continue. And this is an ongoing problem in the city of West Palm Beach. And, unfortunately, it's going to cost the city more money. There's more stuff coming online. And, you know, you guys, I'm glad to see Ed Mitchell gone. I'll be happy to see Claudia McKenna gone, because they allow this to continue. Your HR department's allowed it to continue. Your risk management, your media relations, the mayor. It is shameful. It is disgraceful. And hopefully you'll clean this mess up. Okay. Could I have a motion for approval of item number 11, resolution 39-14? Yes, Mayor. I'd like to move approval. I'm sorry. We don't – we're not – we have public comment. We're on item number 11. Thank you. We have a motion for approval and a second. Second. Thank you. All those in favor, signify by stating aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. We are now going to move to the next item.